Welcome to Planning with Heart by Tracia. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We would love to have you. Hit the notification bell, like this video, and subscribe. And to my current subscribers, my tray bays, hey y'all, welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and get into this video. I didn't do a cash stuffing video. I've been under the weather. Um, and <laughs> this video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be different from how I normally do it, only because I have been balling out of control. Balling out of control until it has thrown my budget out of whack. So you're going to see this, this video. So the money that I was going to stuff, let's just say that money went on concert tickets and we'll just leave that where it, where it is. If you know, you know. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get into this video. How are you guys doing today? I am doing fine. Been under the weather, but you know, I'm hanging in there. Um, so we're going to do debt tracking because we've already spent the money that was supposed to be um, stuffed. So let's go ahead and pull out what we've spun. Now, you won't see the concert tickets on here because that was the money that I used that we were supposed to stuff. So you won't see that, but you'll see the residuals of me spinning out of control. All right. So and I'll, and what I'll do is explain once we get to where we need to get. So let's tally up what we have here. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do category by category. What I can show you is that um, there's some from Brandon. There's some from food. There's some from All About Me. There's some from events. Um, there's even a, a card charge on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull from all of those categories. Um, and I'm just going to pull not like how I normally would, where I would just take the denomination or the amount spent per category, but we're just going to pull until we get the total um, amount from all of those, if that makes any sense. And if it doesn't, you'll see once I do it, um, once I get ready to pull. So let's just tally up what we spent. I'll hold this. You see that event insurance, event insurance, yeah. It's a ripoff, but with the money that was spent, you need the insurance. <laughs> um, yeah. And I was gonna speed through this, but I'm like, nope, some people like the clickety-clack sound, so we're gonna go with it. So our total is $756 is what we've spent. Not bad. It's bad, but it's not bad. <laughs> because It's bad because it's thrown us out off of our budget, but it's not bad because it's not really a lot. All right, so $756 is what we have to come up with. And let me just put this back right on this side here. Um, now I'll move this to the side. I think you've uh, already seen it. If you can't see it, I'm sorry. And let's go ahead and pull. So we're not gonna pull from Art by Tracia and we're not gonna pull from tax. We will pull this full 50 from credit cards. So 756, I'm gonna do minus 50. And we'll pull that. And actually what I'll do is I'll put this here. Okay, so now we still gotta come up with 706. So credit card is depleted. Um, we don't have anything in eating out. And as you can see, we did a lot of eating out. Um, gas, we definitely did gas. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull, it, pull out the 30. So we'll do minus 30. Now we still gotta cover $676. Not pulling out of hell. Definitely pulling out a grocery. Um, I think grocery was that whopping 200 something. So we have 100, five, six, seven. 107 in groceries that we will pull. So we still gotta come up with 569. Oof. Let's go ahead and pull from savings. And I was doing so good in this category, but hey, we can start over. So that's 200 we're pulling from savings. 
and we still got to cover $369. We're definitely pulling from events because this is where the bulk of the money went to begin with. 50, 70, 90, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119. 120 dollars is what we'll pull from events. So we still got 249 to cover. I'm definitely pulling from all our ABT me, which is my personal category, and that's 70 dollars here. So we still have 179 to go. Um, let's see. We'll pull from travel. Although I didn't want to pull from travel, I gotta stuff this one up again. I gotta get it back beefy. But let's see what we have. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180. So we'll pull 180 from travel. Oh, look at that. We're a dollar over, so I'll put this dollar in travel. At least it won't be empty. So, this should be the amount that we have. And actually, I'm going to put $5 back in there and take $5 from Brandon because 5 did come from him. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put, we'll leave five in travel plus this $1, so six. And then we'll take the five from Brandon. And that'll leave him with 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75 in his envelope. All right, so now let's see what we have going back to the bank to replace our reckless spending. So thick. All right, here we go. 100, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500. 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 756 dollars is what we have going back to the bank to pay off what we've spent. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and for watching. Until next time, bye.